Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. On November 26, 2022, The Sun reported the Watts house was finally sold four years after Chris Watts brutally annihilated his entire family. His wife, Shanann Watts, his two beautiful daughters, Bella and Celeste, and his unborn son, Nico. May they forever rest in peace. A private Facebook group post showed it was sold by Location Real Estate in Colorado. The agent shared the news on social media and stated, huge congratulations to my buyers on their closing. It took everything we had to get here. So happy for you guys and can't wait to see the memories you make in your new home. I'll edit to add, since it's been asked, yes, this was the Watts house. It is now the Miller home and they cannot wait to put their love, family, and laughter back into this house. The Millers also shared posts, which have since been deleted, of the front of the home along with snaps of them gathering in the kitchen with their children. It stated, we hope to honor you in this home you once called yours and to fill it with smiles as you did. Thank you for making this a peaceful home. Peace and love are all we have felt since the moment we first walked through the door because of you. We hope to have you alongside us on this new chapter. The son reached out to Location Real Estate and the new owners for comment but did not hear back. The private Facebook groups The Watts Family Murders first shared the posts about the sale and despite some claiming they would never want to live in the house, many social media users were pleased to hear it's been sold. One wrote underneath the images, wow this made my day, congratulations to the Miller, may they be happy in their new home. A second added, that's what the house needed, love, life, and laughter. I hope they are very happy in that house. It's a beautiful house. I personally am happy for this family. I wish them well. We need to pray for them, the wife, the husband, and the three little girls. Pray that the house is freed from whatever demons were in that house, and pray that tragedy does not ever strike there again. Now, as of today, December 5th, it's still showing that Shanann and Frank Rusick's name on the property, so I'll keep an eye on this to see if and when it may transfer to the Miller's names. And here's a photo of what looks like the swing set in the Watts backyard is now gone. So let me know what you think below. Thanks for watching and have a blessed day. Thank you. 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 Thank don't take her away. I'm not taking her away. Whoa!